Measurable, Sustainable Change. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 239. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 239, October 22nd, 2017 edition. This week's topic is measurable sustainable change. And what measurable sustainable change means for us is creating open source and do it yourself tools, tutorials, resources, well, and do it yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And the measurable aspect of that is how replicable we can make it. Our goal is to create a self-replicating model of teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to spread across the world and create a sustainable world that works for everyone. We believe that it's possible to create a sustainable civilization that is humanity here living on our planet within our lifetime. And the way that we're going to accomplish that is through self-replicating models built on open source sustainability. And these open source sustainable models, one community being the initial one that we will build, the prototype, are designed to be replicable as complete teacher demonstration hubs or uh, all the individual components can be replicated. And they cover all aspects of sustainable living. The most important foundations of which we've identified is food, energy, housing, and then the emotional aspects, which are highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. We put all these things together to create what we believe, and we think most people will agree, is an evolution of sustainability that provides a better way of living than the way that people are living right now. Better because it provides more time to spend with the people that you care about. It's built on open source, free shared, and highest good values, which means that it's good for the planet, good for people, good for the economy, and basically provides more than it takes from the earth, it gives back. And for those that are interested in engaging a philanthropic or humanitarian process with one community, with us, we have a complete uh, marketing engine and model for sharing other people's projects as well that use our open source blueprints, tools, and tutorials and contribute their own adaptations and modifications to create a constantly growing source of open source and sustainable do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainability. And this is how we are creating measurable sustainable change. And we define that measurable sustainable change from a bigger picture perspective as how many people are participating. Our goal, as I already said, is to make it easy enough, affordable, and and demonstrate as attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And everything that you see happening in the background here of this video is our work to this point. When we build all seven of these villages, invite you know thousands of people, tens of thousands of people, and eventually hundreds of thousands of people to be able to visit annually, our goal is to demonstrate a way of living that's better than the way that they're living right now so that people will become engaged, so that people want to participate, and so that the idea will spread its own. And so this is all what our idea of measurable, sustainable change is all about. And we're measuring our success right now with all the open source blueprints and tools and do-it-yourself instructional pages that we create every single week. We're constantly building and growing everything that we're putting out, and that's how we're measuring our success, moving towards that point where we are 100% ready to start building, where everything, the permitted plans are all done, and all we're looking for at that point is funding, and we're ready to start construction. And this is what One Community is all about. This is how we're achieving this goal. And we're a 100% volunteer organization, we're a nonprofit organization, we're a non-governmental organization, creating cool things because we think we can transform the planet into one that works for everybody within our lifetime. And we feel that there is no nobler goal than that. Why not create a world that works for everybody? What could we do if we simultaneously addressed and solved the greatest challenges of our time? You know, pollution, homelessness, hunger and starvation, lack of energy infrastructure, quality education, social injustice, poverty, uh, crime. All of these things can be addressed by collaborative and cooperative models built on sustainability. Why? Because they provide the foundations of what everyone needs. And we believe that people are inherently good. We think that humanity is good, that humanity wants to do the right thing. And we feel that the number one barrier to that is differences in values and lack of the resources that people need to feel safe, to feel secure, to feel free. 
And so the whole one community model is designed to provide that, that and so much more, but really to meet those foundational needs in a way so that people feel abundance, so that people are living abundant, and from that place of abundance, to provide an ongoing opportunity for giving back, for helping others. And so this is what all of our core team is doing. You know, we're creating all of this because we want to live this way. We're creating all this way also, though, because we want to give back to others. And we believe that that a world that works for everybody is possible in our lifetime. And that's worth creating. And we're creating a model to help others who believe that as well to participate in a way that's easy and is a win for them as well. And the beauty of it all is designed, it's designed so that if people want to create it for selfish reasons, if people just want to lower their bills, have more free time, not work traditional jobs anymore, live in an environment with clean air and water and higher quality food and better quality education, surrounded by people with shared values, whatever those values are, then one community is perfect for that. If people want to create a survival community, they can create that. If people want to create a uh, naturalist community that people can create uh, anything that people want to do these blueprints are designed to be applicable and modifiable to whatever p values and goals people have and because it's built on a foundation of highest good creation of living for the good of all life on this planet however it's implemented we see that as a step in the right direction so with all that said let's jump into one week of our team's progress and accomplishments, all volunteer team, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments as we've been working towards measurable, sustainable change for the highest good of all life on our planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week's focus was continued research and design updates to the outdoor bowling and chess and checkers elements, plus designing an obstacle course with a tire hop, wobble log, jumping stones, tunnel, dodging panels, and low climbing wall. The core team also finished working on the complete Treehouse Village Pod 7 render and header images and updated the website with the finalized versions. In addition, the core team continued working on the Murphy bed instructions. Here is one of the new instructional page examples. And the core team began updating the Earthbag Village tools and equipment page. We created a new public Google spreadsheet to house all of the data that was originally on the page and added clickable images to take users to that spreadsheet. We also checked prices and updated all of the broken links on the spreadsheet. Sungum Stanzak, PhD in PE, began the design for the open source web lab that will be used to test and assure the safety of the filtered gray water from the communal eco shower. You can see here the layout and initial cost analysis. Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his sixth week working on the Straw Bale Village cost analysis. What you see here are more details and images added to the write-up summary discussing the details, sustainability savings, and final estimate. We'd say we're now about 95% complete with the full cost analysis for this village. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 86 of Dean's work, continuing to test and develop the textures and lighting from the skylights and windows for the central dining and presentation hall. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 60th week helping with the compressed Earthbach Village design and render details. This week's focus was this final render of the second floor roof space looking west that is now also on the site. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his third week working on the Compressed Earthbuck Village Render Editions. This week he finished adding people and additional aesthetics to the public bathroom and this render of the second floor event and meeting space looking southwest. Samantha Robinson, graphic designer, completed her 12th week working on the interior design for the living structure of the Treehouse Village. This week's focus, as shown here, was unwrapping the stairs and fixing errors so we can start texturing these areas. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. 
This week, the core team began updating the website with the new Highest Good Energy rollout details for the landing party of 0 to 20 people. You can see some of these updates here. The core team also updated the floor plan images and added the most recent cost analysis details to the Open Source City Center kitchen page, as shown here. Falguin Patil, mechanical engineer, completed his eighth week continuing to review, run calculations, and update the specifics of the remote energy setup plan for the Highest Good Energy page. This week's focus, as shown here, was updating the narrative for the 20 to 50 and 50 to 100 waves of volunteers. Oruba Rabi, PhD, PE, and civil engineer, also continued working on the city center's structural engineering, AutoCAD, and SAP 2000 models corrections, fixing them in SAP 2000, and making notes like the one shown here for corrections needed in AutoCAD. And Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also continued to work on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the Duplical City Center. What you see here is a summary of several weeks of work updating the related AutoCAD drawings. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued researching and organizing and added 10 more countries' nutrition guidelines to the resources chart for our food self-sufficiency transition plan and sustainable food nutrition calculations page, as you can see here. The core team also created and added to the Aquapini and Wallapini section of the site the two new images here that show the shared dimensions of all six of these structures. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued building the education assessment format open source page and tutorial. This week, we finished the Helpful Evaluation Tips and Tools section by adding remaining details to three components within it, as shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. The core team and Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued with edits and updates to the Highest Good Society search engine, integrating changes and finding additional areas needed to be fixed. The search engine is now 95% complete. Well, there you have it. That is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards measurable, sustainable change. This is how we're creating world change and anybody who wants to can participate. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel or follow us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to follow our work and to share what it is that we're doing. Uh, so if you prefer to follow us through social media and manage your updates that way, uh, join us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit, whatever it is that you're most interested in, we're probably there because we regularly post to about 20 different social media networks. And of course, if you like to help, Visit our helping page, or the easiest way to help is share our information. Share this update. Share any of the pages that you find interesting and share worthy from our website. Help us get the word out, because the more people know what it is that we're doing, the easier it is for us to achieve that tipping point of participation and engagement where we can truly, positively, and permanently impact the lives of everyone on this planet. And that is our goal, is positive and permanent global change for the highest good of all life on this planet. That's what we're up to. So with that said, thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for all the shares and likes that we get. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the small donations, donations that we get. They all make a big difference. None of us are paid for what is it we're doing. So 100% of donations go into forwarding our nonprofit mission, helping to create all the open source blueprints and everything that is that we're doing. So thanks for those. And of course, uh, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.